What is going on guys? Coach Kiki here in the Bikini Dungeon. Um, it's my office, but we call it the Bikini Dungeon because I have all of the things that you can do for bikini. We have a treadmill, we have a little stair stepper, we have a mirror for posing. I have all my suits. I have um, a booty scrub so we can get some um, hip thrust action. I got some bands. I got all of my Brett Contreras um, glute books. Everything is for the cheese engine. Um, all right, so um, I'm doing a solo update today. Um, Coach Beckin is um, on vacation, um, but we just come off came off of a, an exciting weekend um, here in Columbus. Um, I had a first-time competitor uh, competing at the Mike Francois Classic in Dublin, Ohio. Um, so all things bikini all weekend, um, you know, that is what I live for. Um, so it was just really cool as a coach to, you know, I love going to shows just as a, you know, spectator um, and then also obviously coaching. Um, and, you know, getting to really spend time with my athletes, um, and guide them through all of the, uh, craziness, um, and unknown that happens on show day. Um, you know, it's just a really special time for, you know, the competitor who has been working for so, so long to get to the stage. And then, you know, as me as a coach, I'm along that journey with them um, every step of the way. Sometimes, like, I I want it, you know, more than the competitors sometimes. Um, but, you know, I pour my heart and soul into this, and it's really just cool to see it all come together. Um, Miss Olivia, she uh, has, I've been working with her um, since the beginning, maybe the end of 2022. Um, so we have been working to get to the stage, um, you know, building and shaping that bikini body, and um, she ended up getting first in True Novice, and she got second in her open class. Um, she absolutely loved it. Um, you know, she was a cheerleader in high school, I believe, so she kind of already had that, like, um, you know, competitive drive and, you know, really just seeing her transform her physique, her mindset um, throughout this process and really just learn to love the journey and love the sport is something that makes me super excited. Um, you know, as a coach, I love working with um, all competitors and lifestyle people as well. Um, but, you know, I, I especially love the competitors who, you know, want to keep progressing in this sport. Um, there are some girls who just want to, like, check that box off and then they go sweet or they just kind of like, oh, okay, cool, that was fun. Um, but, you know, I really like working with competitors in the long term, getting them from, you know, whether wherever they're at in their first starting point working with me, whether they're getting ready to start a prep or whether we need a lot of work to get to that prep point. Um, you know, I, I love just doing their first show, getting feedback. Maybe it's doing another show to improve a little bit before we go into an improvement season. Um, but, you know, working with them on seasons and seasons and, you know, really just becoming, um, you know, a, a power team here. You know, it's not just a, for me, it's not just a coach that, you know, here's your plan, I'll see you next week. Like, I, I like getting to know my, the ins and outs of my athletes, you know, physique-wise, mental-wise, just with their lifestyle, and really having, you know, building this good relationship with them, um, because at the end of the day, it's just these relationships and relationships we build within bodybuilding um, and what we learn about ourselves throughout this process is, is what it's all about. Um, you know, trophies and things like that are fun and dandy, and we all want to always want to, you know, continue to, like, strive for the wins, um, but the community that we're building, you know, with you know, myself, with the other coaches on Team Pro with the athletes, um, you know, 
it's it's something that's truly truly special so that's my update on the show um this is my first time coaching at the mike francois classic um i went as a spectator last year um so it always gives me you know it gets me excited uh, to be around the show atmosphere the smell of pro tan um coach kiki is the code if you want to see um it just gets me all excited and wanting to um you know compete myself but also uh, continue helping you know my athletes with that process so um super fun um olivia actually like I didn't know if she was going to want to compete uh, after this. Um, I asked her, I think a couple weeks ago when we were like competing, and she was like, I don't know, I kind of want to see how this first show goes. Um, but Friday when I met with her um, for athlete check-in, she was like, I'm ready to go again. And we didn't even step on stage yet. So it was excited to see her just go through that process, go through peak week. And, you know, come show day, she absolutely loved it. She had good family there and family and friends there to support her. Um, me and Becca were there to, um, you know, double check tan, go through the posing. Um, obviously telling her what she needed to be eating and um, pumping up and everything. Um, so it was, it was just a super fun um, weekend. Uh, me and Becca got to kind of relax a little bit in between um, pre-judging and finals. And then the team was not last on the lineup, which is amazing. Normally we're last. We were second. We were right after bodybuilding. So we were out of there at like 7 p.m. It was awesome. Um, but that's it. That's a, a little coach geeky update from the Mike Francois Classic and, and things went on um, last week. So we'll roll that, all the B-roll for that. Um, but if you are, you know, interested in um, wanting to compete, um, whether that's soon, sometime in the future, um, or if you're just wanting to, you know, get healthy, um, live a healthy lifestyle, incorporate flexibility into your life, um, have some fun, look good, uh, let me know. Um, you can always reach out to me um, and find me on Instagram at kickerslap underscore IFBB Pro. Um, like and subscribe to this content here on YouTube. Let me know if you have any questions, what you would like to see from, from me. Um, I mean, again, IFBB Pro, um, bikini athlete, and I'm a coach, um, competition and lifestyle coach. So let me know. Hit your girl up. This is the new June menu from Visionary. Well, some of the meals. I didn't get all of them, but these are the ones I'm trying this week. We got strawberry Pop-Tart overnight oatmeal with some chicken sausage, some no-bake cinnamon roll cookies, steak burrito bowl, bang bang chicken meatballs, Caesar pasta salad, Cane's chicken, sweet potato fries, and sausage McGriddle. I'm so freaking stoked. Brutus is stoked too, huh, buddy? Are you excited? Yeah, good food. Let's go. Code Kiki10 will save you some money. Now they do pickups on Tuesday and Friday. So get your orders in by Sunday and Wednesday night. Let's go. Oh, whatever tits you do have. All you right. have nipples. <laughs> All right, so you're gonna just like walk, like basically like think, yep, yeah. and then opposite arm, opposite hand. So think about this hand, just like brushing your thighs. So All right, competitor number one and two switch. 
Okay. Yep. So you basically, they're going to call your number. Okay. And then you're going to um, just, the expediters will tell you where okay. to move. Yep. Tits up. Shoulder forward. Very nice. Yes. Good job. Good. Box that one. Good. Yes. Time to go see Olivia. Number 19, that's a good number. Number. Mosa kit <laughs> with literally just champagne. <laughs> no kit, no juices needed. Cheers. Look how pretty you are. Aww. <laughs> yes. They call this bridge park for something. Yeah, I have no idea why. There's a bridge. It's today. Oh, this looks so good. Jumping She's into an NPC show too. Dick skin. She's about to get her upper body days taken away. <laughs> we love carbs. Yeah. <laughs> I need her to come out to Newark so we can have her on the podcast. Yes. We got first place, true novice. Out of six people. <laughs> what time is it? It's 7.30. Yes. The sun is still out. The sun is still out. Bikini is done. God. And see. God bless. We're going the home. USA. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.